Hi, this is David Harper, Bionic Turtle, with an illustration of the natural gas futures curve. Natural gas is a fossil fuel-like oil buried deep in rock beneath the earth. Unlike oil, natural gas is costly to store and transport. It's typically transported through networks of steel pipelines. As with the other commodities, we can estimate the forward price here, F sub zero, as a function of the spot price continuously compounded at an interest rate plus the storage cost denoted by U here which again is significant in the case of natural gas. So if I take a recent spot price for natural gas $10.70 which is very high by historical standards approaching peak levels for the spot price of natural gas and this is expressed in dollars per million Brit British thermal units and a single contract on NYMEX trades for 10,000 million British thermal units. Recall the futures contract that trades on the exchange contains standardized terms and specifications so this permits liquidity in the futures market. So the spot price of $10.70 can be plugged in here when we can estimate the forward curve if I estimate a monthly interest rate of a third of a percent and a storage cost of one percent then I'm compounding the spot price forward to estimate future forward price at one month of ten dollars and eighty four cents at two months of ten dollars ninety nine cents and so this is an upward sloping line that largely reflects the cost to finance and the storage cost of the natural gas and it happens to be fairly approximately correct in the short term but now look at let's look at what's not incorporated in the cost of carry model for natural gas and that is the seasonality specifically natural gas has relatively constant supply productions relatively constant not totally flat and variable by region but constant enough the demand however is very seasonal so if we look at the actual forward curve here we do see the upward sloping line to reflect the storage cost and we have peak prices here in the forward that are associated with the winter months so November, December, January, February and here we have in the near term March 2009 the forward price of 11.55 and then the forward curve plunges as we leave the winter months and enter the summer months and this is not a function of production this is a function of seasonal demand so that natural gas is less in demand during the seasonal and during the summer months so we see this pattern here that is pretty much typical for the natural gas forward curve and so by the way in the classic and notorious hedge fund meltdown in, of Amaranth Advisors of September 2006 where the hedge fund lost almost six billion dollars trading natural gas forwards or futures and other derivatives associated with natural gas they were engaged in basically a strategy to go long the winter months and short or take short positions in the summer months so this was called a long winter short non winter spread trade which historically had produced fairly high returns with uh, modest volatility but in September of 2006 that historical pattern of high returns for this uh, spread trade collapsed and Amaranth's leverage lit, led to its uh, own six uh, billion dollar loss or almost six billion dollar loss and one of the more notorious hedge fund meltdowns in history. This is David Harper the Bonic Turtle. Thanks for your time.